Welcome friends, I'm Samantha, owner of Get Some More Brand. I'm going to demonstrate how to set up Amazon Fire TV Stick and show you what you can do for free with the streaming device. And I'm going to show you how to connect a Bluetooth keyboard to your TV and use it with the free features that come with the Fire TV Stick. You can see how easy it is to do yourself and how this technology can benefit your life. Even get rid of cable to save money on high monthly bills because Fire TV Stick does not have monthly fees. It's a one-time cost. These are not my products. They're popular products you can find on Amazon. I'm an affiliate for Amazon, so at no cost to you, if you choose to buy a product from the links, then I'll get a small cut. Get Some More's goal is to help your business and home stay up to date with the best technology. And I own these products, so I wanna share their benefits with you. Here we go. Fire TV Stick 4K comes in this box. These are the pieces that come in the box. This is the Fire Stick and the extender. You need this extender because when it plugs into the back of the TV into an HDMI port, it needs a little bit of wiggle room. So you connect those two. You get the power cord in the box and the remote with Alexa voice control. Let's plug it all up. This is just like a cell phone. So it plugs into the box. This piece plugs directly into the fire stick. Now, this piece goes into the HDMI port in the back of your TV. This goes into the wall. Let's plug it in. And this to the wall. Now, let's turn on the TV. All right. So the first screen you come to has the three HDMI boxes. You're gonna click on whichever one you plug the Fire TV stick into. On my TV, I use HDMI 3, so that's the one I'm going to click on. This is the home screen for Fire TV, but because we're gonna use a Bluetooth keyboard to search all the free stuff, we are going to go to settings first to connect the keyboard. Up here at settings, we're going to go across to controllers and Bluetooth devices. We're going to scroll down to other Bluetooth devices and find the keyboard. Now, if your keyboard is not discoverable yet over here, you can click the connect button and connect the keyboard to the TV. Press select to connect. Mine's already connected. And we're going to go back out using the home button here. So you're on the home screen. If you're brand new to Fire TV, you're going to come up here to the top and you're going to download the apps that you want to watch the most. So as you can see, there's several different types of apps. Some of these are subscription based. So some of these you're going to pay a monthly subscription fee for, but it's still going to be way less than cable. So it's definitely worth it. Um, other ones are free, like YouTube Spray, Pluto TV Spray. I'm going to be talking about these two. So you're just going to download them and the apps are going to go straight to your home page. So they're going to show up on your home page where you can click on them very easily. So here we go. We're going to look at YouTube. Here we go. We're going to search in YouTube. So we're going to use our Bluetooth keyboard to search. Otherwise, we'd have to click, click, click with our remote each and every letter. So instead, we're just going to type and get to what we want. All right, I'm gonna be searching get some more because that's my channel on YouTube. So I can come over here and can watch my shows. Um, so I can search this way with the Bluetooth keyboard or I can ask Alexa to find things for me. So I can use the Alexa remote. At the top here, you have the voice control. You just press and hold. So let's ask Alexa. Alexa, find news on YouTube. Getting that from YouTube. And here we go, some of the most popular news pops up on YouTube. So another thing we can do with our downloaded apps that are free on Fire TV is Pluto TV. So let's find, let's ask Alexa to find Pluto TV for us. Alexa, find Pluto TV. Here's what I found. I like Pluto TV because it gives you free live television. So you can go to the common channels that are local and they should be on there for free so cbs news live is right here on pluto tv so you do have some live choices not all of the news stations are on pluto tv so it's just basic ones um but that's okay 
You just want the basic stuff. So now we're going to go back out. So Pluto TV is great for live TV. We're going to go back out again with our home button. And we're going to check out some more stuff that you can do for free on Fire TV. Let's go to Prime Video. Prime Video comes with Amazon Fire TV Stick because it's part of Amazon. So you get it for free. Um, Right up here, you have the free to me button. So you can go free to me and then scroll through here and all these genres and different things you can watch absolutely free on Prime Video. Okay, so let's go search something on Prime Video. Let's go back up here and we're gonna search something. Again, so instead of typing the click, click, click with our remote, we're gonna use our Bluetooth keyboard and let's just type something in. So I typed in educational movies on Prime, so we're going to come over here, search it, and these are the free movies that come up when you type it in. So another thing you can do on Prime Video is you can ask Alexa to find something for you. So let's try it. Alexa, search comedy movies on Prime. And then as you can see, lots of comedy and movies pop up. So the Alexa feature is super convenient. So we're back on our home screen and more things that you can do for free on Fire TV is um, Amazon Music. So this is a super cool app. Um, so you can come up here to the top and we can search. So let's search something. Instead of pressing each individual letter, let's use our keyboard. Let's search a song. All right, search Stupid Love by Lady Gaga. Let's see, and there it is, it pops right up to play. So if we don't want to search for a specific song, we can always ask Alexa to find something for us. Let's try. Alexa, play hip hop music. Sure, here's a station you might like. Talk hip hop. So Alexa starts playing hip hop music. We can listen while we clean the house or whatever we want to do. All right, we go back out to the home screen. And another cool thing you can do for free on Fire TV Stick is the internet. So let me show you how you can search on the internet with your Fire TV Stick remote. Okay, so the remote becomes like your mouse. So you have your up, down, left and right buttons here. And you can see on the screen that I'm moving up and down, it becomes like a little gray cursor, kind of like your mouse. So let's search, let's search sports news now. We're gonna use our Bluetooth keyboard. Sports news now and search. Right, and come over here and search, and the latest sports news comes up. You are literally surfing the internet from your couch on your TV that's huge with your Bluetooth keyboard. It is so much more fun and so much more convenient to use the keyboard than it is just to click on every single letter you want to do. You can do way more stuff way faster with these pieces of technology. So we're going to go back out to the home screen now. I have shown you several free features on the Amazon Fire TV Stick that you can use just by buying the stick. I want to point out that you can choose other subscription apps that have small monthly fees, like Netflix or Disney+, Plus, but still way less than cable. I hope I helped you learn about Fire TV Stick, and I hope I helped you see how a Bluetooth keyboard can be a great addition of beneficial technology for your home and life. Click the links below for pricing and product details or share this video with your friends who might need help understanding home and office technology. Thanks for watching.